Hey y'all, April here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to my very first anniversary. <laughs> yes, today is December 28th, 2018. And one year ago today, I uploaded my very first video to this channel. I can't even believe it. I can't, not really. <laughs> I did it on a whim just wanting to share something and now a whole year later here we are honestly when i started doing this after the initial video and i thought i would post more my hope was to possibly get maybe a video up a week so that would be what like 52 videos well i currently have not including this one 77 videos posted can you believe it i can't believe it I can't believe I was able to post 77 videos about anything and have people watch them and enjoy them to some degree. So uh, I'm just so thankful and amazed at what I was able to do this year. Uh, some of the videos were terrible. Some of the lighting was off. The sound was off. All of it was off. Some of my reviews were off. <laughs> but... I made it through and I am so encouraged to go into 2019 just improving and doing more and expanding the channel. But right now, I wanna celebrate and thank my roots. And that is Funko Pops and comic books. So, I'm doing a giveaway, if you didn't know by the title already. But yes, this is a giveaway video. I have six items six items there will be six winners meaning that you cannot win all the items but yes i have six items three funko pops and three comic books so let's get the housekeeping out of the way first the rules okay rule number one you must be a subscriber to this channel this is a subscriber based giveaway so it's only for my ride or dies not people just passing through sorry not sorry but yes, you must be a subscriber to this channel and I must be able to see that you're a subscriber. There are a lot of lurkers out there who are subscribed and who don't really comment or like the videos and that's fine, traditionally. However, if you want to participate in the giveaway, you're gonna have to make those things public for me to be able to ensure that you are a current subscriber. And the link on how to do that, if you don't know, is in the description box below. So you must be a public subscriber for me to be able to see that you subscribe to this channel. Second rule, you have to like this video and then comment below on the items that you want in the giveaway. There are six different items. There will be six different drawings and you can ask to be put in the giveaway for all of them. However, you can only win once. That means if you put yourself in a drawing for everything and you win an item, you will be disqualified from all the other drawings. You can only win one item. So I would suggest that you only submit for things that you really want because you don't wanna win things that you don't really want. You know what I'm saying? And please limit your comments to one comment each just to list all the items that you would like to be put in the drawing for and I will go from there. If you put multiple comments, you will be disqualified. Let's not make this messy and muddy. I want six winners. I have a small community here and I want as many people as possible to have a, a chance at the items. Number three, you must be 18 years of age or older or you need to be able to prove that your parent is perfectly okay with you participating or receiving items. Yeah, I don't want that kind of drama. Four, the giveaway is international. Yes, I will ship overseas. Here's the caveat to that. If there's any taxes or import fees in your country, I will not be able to cover that. So please make sure that there are no issues with that for international shipping. I'm in the United States, the lower 48. So if your country has issues with receiving parcels from here and adds an additional tax, you would be held responsible for that. 
I will ship all items as securely as I can. I will try to wrap them. I will put pops in sorters, all that good stuff. But that doesn't mean the shipper will not put a small mini fridge on top of your box. So I cannot guarantee the condition of which your item will show up. Sorry. And, uh, oh, the giveaway closes midnight, Thursday morning, January 10th. 2019. That means you have until Wednesday night, January 9th, 11.59 p.m. to get your entries in. At midnight, I will be closing the giveaway and I will only look at submissions from that point back. And then um, Thursday, I will go through all of the submissions, sort things out, do drawings, <laughs> probably offline, and then I will contact the winners on this video. And then I will do a post an announcement, winner announcement video on that Friday, January 11th. I hope that makes sense. Again, all of the information regarding the contest is in the description box below. Feel free to peruse that. Also feel free to ask questions, you know, if you're unsure about certain things. But that's enough of that. Let's get on to the good stuff, right? All right, first up, giveaways are the Funko Pops. And the first one is the Army Man, the Metallic Army Man box lunch exclusive. This was a hot item a few months ago. I think now it has become kind of common, but I still think it's really cute. Is from Toy Story. I'm not gonna open the box, but as you can see, he has a great metallic sheen. I think he's really cool. I really like this one. And uh, the box is in good condition. This one is. I can't guarantee box condition either, so please, you know, it's a giveaway. Don't hate me too much. But yeah, I think this one's really hot. So yeah, Toy Story, number one, Army Man. Number two. Another box lunch exclusive, the flocked Scooby-Doo. He's so cute. I don't know how uh, popular this one was. I really liked it, so I got to. That's another thing, you guys are doing me a big favor by taking some of my duplicates off my hands, so thanks again. But yeah, <laughs> Scooby-Doo, he's number two. That rhymed. And last of the Funko Pops, number three, is Red Hood. This is the SDCC um, limited edition. I don't know what that means. I don't know if this is vaulted or not, if they're never gonna produce anymore, but um, I have an extra Red Hood. Gotta give away a DC pop here. I think this is really nice. I like the way it came out. If you're a fan of this character and were unable to get one, this one could be yours. So those are the Funko Pops that are in the giveaway. And they are, all the giveaway items are listed below in the description box as well. So comics, all the comics are relatively newish. So that's good. And two of them, one is the first volume, the second is like a graphic novel, and the third you may be able to guess because I mentioned it recently in one of my comic reviews. But let's get started. The first one is Isola. This is written by Brendan Fletcher. The art is done by Carl Keschel. Yes. And this is a high fantasy story regarding a queen, Queen of Moore. I think that's her name, and this is her here. She, uh, an evil spell has been cast upon her, turning her into a Bengal tiger. And she and her captain of the guard are traveling to the mystical island, or the mythical, excuse me, the mythical island of Isola to see if they can find a cure for this curse. The artwork is pretty fantastic. It's very beautiful. Like I said, I think I said before in my review, very ethereal. Yeah. Atmospheric. 
it's a gorgeous looking book the story is pretty solid I gotta say I didn't love this one as much as I like motor crush Brendan Fletcher is one of the authors to motor crush I like that one better so far but for a beginning of the story, this is the first volume. I am interested in seeing where it's going. Again, the artwork though, kind of like with a lot of these, is really what makes it. It's just a gorgeous looking book. And it's if you like high fantasy, I believe this is teen level. Yes, teen plus. So if you like high fantasy, um, not a lot of violence, uh, this is for you. Next up, I have Batman Dam book two. This is written by Brian Azzarello. The art is done by Lee Bermejo. Unfortunately, I was not able to obtain the copy of the first book. Um, this is a three book series, but the first book is available on digital download, I believe still. So you can read the first book that way. Or if you have a copy, this will be a nice way of getting a separate copy without having to pay for it. But yeah. I think this cover is great. This is not the variant cover. This is the standard cover. The other one written by Jim Lee or drawn by Jim Lee is the variant cover, but this one by Bermejo is just amazing. Look at that Joker picture. I just had to get it for you guys because Bermejo's artwork is just stunning. Look at these. Look at this. It's amazing what he's been able to do here. Just gorgeous work. Gorgeous. Again, the artwork kind of exceeds the story. I think if you know anything about the story, you know what it's all about. It's about Batman, possibly have killed the Joker, but Constantine's in this, so all bits are off about things being what they seem to be. So far, I'm not, I don't dislike the story. Honestly, for me, this is one of the better Azarello stories. So <laughs> I don't know what that says. I am enjoying the story, but I think what I'm enjoying most about this is that there is so much mood in the artwork. The narrative in it of itself just kind of glides along with it. So it's really kind of a Bermejo book for me. And lastly, a graphic novel, and I talked about this in one of my other comic reviews, but this is The Terrible Elizabeth Dunn Against the Devils in Suits. This is a one-shot done by, I think his name was Ar Arbison, but it may be Arabison. Arabison? Sorry, that's his name up there. He is the author and the artist for this book, and it is a, believe, a co-publishing venture between Image and IHQ Studios. And this is about Elizabeth Dunn. Her father made a deal with the devil some two decades ago uh, for fame and fortune. And the devil has now shown up to collect, but the father wants to renegotiate. The original deal was to give up his firstborn child. That firstborn child happened to be his only son, so he wants to renegotiate and have the devil take Elizabeth herself. Let's just say Elizabeth is not interested in being anyone's bargaining chip because the girl has plenty of chips of her own. She has a really bad attitude. But you understand why when you have a father who would give you up to the devil, right? I think so. The artwork on this is pretty cool. I love the color. I love how the people are drawn. And uh, I think it's just a really great short story. Yeah, I really did enjoy this. I picked it up as a whim and then uh, I enjoyed my first read of it. And then when I was back at the store again, I picked up a second one just for a giveaway. So. Elizabeth Dunn, the terrible Elizabeth Dunn. Can't forget the terrible part. So just a quick review. Item number one, Funko Pop Army Man. Item number two, Funko Pop Scooby-Doo. Item number three, Funko Pop Red Hood. Item number four, Comic Isola. Item number five, Comic Batman Damned. And item number six, Comic Terrible Elizabeth Dunn.
So that's it guys, those are all the items that for my first anniversary giveaway. Um, I hope you are as excited as I am because this is truly, truly a thank you to all of you who have been supportive of me. You just don't know how much all of you have meant to me this year. I honestly didn't think I would get one subscriber, not one. <laughs> And the fact that not only did I get more than one, but that people actually commented on the videos and wanted to talk to me about the things that I've been excited about, being Funko Pops or, or comics or even now romance books. That'll be, more videos of that will be coming up soon. I don't even know how to explain how much this has all meant to me this year. So, uh, Check out the rules again below. Subscribe, put in your comments, and good luck. Again, if you have questions, feel free to ask those. I will respond when I can. And uh, thank you guys so much. <laughs> I'm not crying, I'm sniffling. I have sinuses, for real. Again, thank you so much. You guys have a great weekend, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.